Getting home from work is no easy trek for Richter Carton. Although the view can't be beat, he still has to walk several blocks from his office and catch a ferry each and every day. Even though he's done it for decades, this routine almost became unbearable. I knew I had a problem. After suffering from arthritis for years, Rick went in for a knee procedure. He came out with MRSA, an antibiotic-resistant infection. All of a sudden, I started getting this pus coming out of the, uh, the lesion in my leg where they had cut through the skin. The infection was in Rick's bone, just two centimeters from his knee joint. If it got inside the knee, doctors might have to amputate his leg. But orthopedic surgeon Amir Matitiao had a different plan. You need to stop it as soon as possible, take care of the infection. First, he cleaned out Rick's bone and placed hardware inside to keep it stable. Then he implanted a wafer filled with antibiotics near the knee. The high dose of antibiotics spread to the surrounding area, killing the bacteria. Bone basically heals without scar. After six weeks of antibiotics, bone from Rick's hip was transferred to his leg to replace what had deteriorated. Now Rick's bone has completely healed. I just had a blood test to see if I had any indications of infection and I don't. If that infection got worse, then he could have lost his leg. The next step for Rick is a knee replacement. He feels lucky to have that option. I'm here to save my leg and in the process save my life. A grateful patient who's looking forward to getting out of the doctor's office and on with his life. I'm Andrew McIntosh reporting.